Uh, welcome to the biggest podcast out of Nigeria, out of the world. And it's called Wild Speech. My name is Speech, and of course, you are Wild Shirt. Guys, we want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy your low calorie popcorns and anything that you like to have because today <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be on fire. It's gonna be litty litty. We have two of our very own PhD people in the building. You know, when we come back, we're gonna be introducing. Don't be in a hurry to let the cat out the bag. We'll be right back. Keep watching. Wild speech. Some 
comes first. A, a, you know, she's a goddess with a voice. So you need to hear her song. song. And then we'll have the president. President. Of in Nigeria. No, 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 not Joe Biden, I'm gonna agree with you. So but you know, not because you because because this president is ten times, fifty times, twenty-seven times, two hundred and fifty billion times. He has paid me money. This has not paid me money before. Cuts, 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 cuts. Respect Nigeria. Yeah. Cuts, 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 cuts. Why are you cutting my own job? <laughs> No, there's a person called Barry Goat. They, uh, they, they. Okay, so I'm sorry. The goat, the greatest of all time goat. Sorry. <laughs> no, but the greatest of all time goat means the greatest of all time. It's not your boy. Am I insulted or am I praised? No, but the person that went to jail was just because he called his dog Barry. What? That's what is the that? problem? For me, I'm saying the greatest of all time goat. Hey! Yeah, 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 I don't think they understand it like that. Okay, all right. Um, all right, guys, when we get back, we'll tell you what topic we're talking about today. What you're watching is what? Wow, sweet. The piano, don't you? Like, it looks more like 
um, men cheat because it's more of a physical thing, right? It's more like you just want something. Nah, uh, don't even, don't even. But it's more of a physical thing, while for women, according to this particular survey, yeah. it's emotional. Okay. Like, which means before the cheating happens, yeah, yeah, there is a build up to yeah. it. There like has been conversations. It's emotional reasons. Yeah. A guy could cheat, like, so, a guy could cheat, okay. yeah, mm-hmm. and come and tell you, like, I don't, I don't like that. And he's not lying. Okay. He doesn't like that. Okay. I don't like okay. that. It's a physical thing. We just wanted to just. Why for women, before a woman would be, I mean, it doesn't take away the fact that there are girls that just. Yes, just yes. for the fun of it, right? Yeah. But for most people, for yeah, most yeah, women, it's because yeah. yeah, it's because they're missing that emotional thing in their relationship. I was it's always saying, emotional. It's mostly emotional. It is because I, I feel I feel you know what you're saying here. Yeah, before a female actually gets to the point of cheating, except for the ones that actually cheat for fun, yeah. So they actually allow you to get their numbers. They actually allow you to have that conversation and with them. From you know, so there is always a build up, yes. and then there is a let. Yes. You know, so so it's more intentional. intentional. Or, or, yeah, that kind of thing. It's more intentional for them. While when it comes to the guy, yeah. you know, if you just be how I feel, you nah, be, you can't use intentional. You can say it's more emotional, but uh-huh. you can't say intentional because if if I cheat, mm-hmm. it was intentional. Okay. What do you okay. mean now? I probably me and the girl will just the look like say I want It was <laughs> intentional. <laughs> it was you wanted to, want to both. Yes, okay. it's, okay. it's very okay. simple. For me it's very simple. Yeah. Actions are carried out because you want to carry out the action. Okay. Irrespective of whatever the circumstances might be. Influence on God. You wanted to. You wanted alcohol. To. You decided to. You wanted to. Even alcohol. Yes. Bro, bro, I agree one hundred percent. You know why? Uh, from the number thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, a woman knows she has a man already. She yeah. has someone she's responsible to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, a guy comes at you, yeah, and you're already giving him all that, all that welcoming vibe. Mm-hmm. Yo, trust me. What are you trying to create, right? Mm-hmm. What are you trying to welcome? Yeah. Like, oh, how are you doing? Have you had lunch today? Can mm-hmm. we hang out somewhere? You guys start sharing interesting things. True. Right? True. So trust me. I agree yeah. to the point that it's super intentional for for females or for both parties. See. Like okay. she said, from from what she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. come out to you from, yeah. from what she said. For the women, it's emotionally intentional. Like, that's correct. <laughs> but for the men, it's a vibe. For yeah. for me, for me, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> for me, I have like, for, for me, um, exchanging numbers and having a conversation with a female must not lead to yeah that point. Yes, yeah, yeah. it doesn't. Happen. You can have a gist partner and just want to gist. You guys can gist to the end. Yeah. Okay. But we're saying the end point. Mm. Getting to that point is because you I chose to. to. So it's intentional. Irrespective of whatever the circumstance okay. might be. So you are saying this is, is intentional. Yes. You know, yeah, see, what I'm asking is this. Mm-hmm. Why men yes. are men cheats? Now, we are, you are telling us you know, the reasons why. I mean, what, are you, what are you trying I to tell I have said the major, the major reason, reason why men anybody cheats with cheese, but men and women mm-hmm. is because they want to. But women are, women are more emotionally inclined to cheat. Like okay, so I think you are telling us the, the emotional part of the cheating. Yeah, but why do you people can cheat? I, can I explain it to you? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, in layman terms. Okay. If I cheat, I'm going to use myself as an example, uh-huh. right? And I'm in a committed relationship. Yeah. It, it's also, you also have to consider what, what you, you and your partner consider cheating. Because okay. some people don't have an issue with their partners flirting. Okay. I do. Okay. Right, but if I cheat, mm-hmm. it's because there's an emotional thing lacking in my relationship. Have you cheated before? No. I think we need to probably define because yeah, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> because we trust me, we hear we hear, we hear several definitions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why I say it, it depends exactly. on what is cheating to you. Mm-hmm. In, so I actually, I actually, yeah. first, what's cheating to you? What's your definition of cheating? Yeah. What's that one thing if a woman does? Uh-huh. I guess you really. Sincerely speaking. Yeah. From your heart. Sincerely speaking. I don't bold so much okay. to even the final point. Okay. 
Which final point? Getting down. I don't hold so much to it. So if so I'm, I'm, I'm if you collect, no, no one. Is that what I'm, I'm a free spirit being. Uh, are you sure? Are you serious. <laughs> Very sure. Very sure. But for me. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yeah. And at that point, she had to. At that point, she had to define it. Yeah, yeah. I said, "Oh, this," is, and I kept to that. Okay. okay. And I've been in other relationships where it was vibes. At that point, cheating was based on okay. If you're going to do it, let me know. If you don't let me know, then yeah. you have. Oh, wow. Do you understand? Do you get it now? So, so, <laughs> so, so, I, just, wait, so yeah. I don't think that's a committed relationship because my definition of committed relationship. One man, one woman. That's your own definition. Well, now don't confuse me. Like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> well, that, no, well, that's not a committed relationship. We have open relationships and we have committed relationships. Okay, so, so I would call that an open relationship. Because if you, you say, you, you if you, yeah, because if you say, this is allowed, mm-hmm. but let me know, then that's not a committed relationship. A committed I, relationship, yes. no other person is allowed in that sphere. Who is defining this? It's the two people in the relationship. So I would define, I would say if this is going to be an open or closed, and I would define that according to my own terms. It's true. But what do you define dictionary definition is an open relationship? Who wrote the dictionary? Let's not go there. Let's not, let's not go, let's not go into all that. Let's not go into this. See, because I am you. Because I'm very. Well, I don't confuse me. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know. Please, 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 please. please, please. Correct. Everybody is correct. So, excuse me. Okay. According to Oxford Dictionary, mm-hmm. an open marriage or relationship is is a relationship in which both parties agree. I know all that. I know all that. that. I know all that. I know all that. So I'm saying, say that I can wake up one morning and say to myself, "These are my rules, okay. and I want to live by these rules." Yes, I'm still committed. Yes. I still love this. Time. My own is my own is very simple. My own is very simple. Whether we should agree or we should come to an agreement that okay, this is what and what we are doing, okay. and that's fine. Okay, so what he's trying to say is that when there is an agreement, yes, the same. Yeah, but when there is a disagreement, it, ah, <laughs> now I'm not finding. According to what you say, no so, okay. <laughs> I, 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 I think I think I think I think I think this is what I'm not going to ask you a separate question. From, from the both parties. Yeah. This is what I think. I think having a relationship with your terms mm-hmm. is different. Yeah. yeah. Right? From having an open relationship or a committed relationship, right? Because if we go by the definitions here, mm-hmm. committed yeah. means just me and you. Mm-hmm. Open means we can do other things. Mm-hmm. On our terms, yeah. Yeah. on our terms means we can do everything and anything. Mm-hmm. Right? But so, I look at what Len is saying here, yeah? mm-hmm. and this is why I say it is correct. Mm-hmm. Someone wrote the dictionary. Mm-hmm. Someone said, okay, this is how this yeah, thing should be. Mm-hmm. And by you know, and that he is saying, he is saying that he is saying. That he is saying now let me say that I choose to write my own definition mm-hmm. as far mm-hmm. as the person I'm with is okay with the definition. Exactly. Which is correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. It makes me think, have I been cheating? <laughs> because so we should have been doing this. Right? No. No, 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 no. Have you been doing this, my man? No, that's not what I mean. So what do you mean? I'm trying to put myself in his definition. <laughs> Because I've been committed. Guys, so we're watching one thing in Wild Street. Uh, we're going to move to the comment session. We need you to be part of the conversation. Yeah. Tell us what you think. Mm-hmm. Why men cheat and why women cheat. Tell us your definition. Tell us what you think about um, a relationship and how it should be done. Because we're already having this back and forth about a committed relationship, open <laughs> relationship, and on your own terms, relationship. So, guys. Remember to click the subscribe button when we get back. More juicy stuff to talk about. And you're watching Wild wow. Speech. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs>
amazing show, amazing everything. I believe by now the comment section is on fire because boy, <laughs> I've been confused. It's <laughs> good, it's good. Guys, welcome back to Wild Speech. My name is Speech, and of course, my name is Wild Shots. And we have our amazing guest in the house. Um, my beauty. What is my guest? What is my Not just your own man. No, I'm not too gay. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you the truth, my guest. All right, um, so my guest. Uh, we have in the house the yeah. beautiful Kayla, yeah. the beautiful songstress. Uh, oh Kayla, how, how can we listen to your song? How do we get it? Well, you're going to have to go to my Instagram page and click the link is right there. All right, so how about your show, IG handle? My IG handle is I am underscore K-E-I-L-L-E. So just go check out, uh, click the link on the bio and hear that amazing. Please, please do. And of course, we have in the house. <laughs> and of course, we have in the house. Um, the, the invisible, the invisible, the invisible one. one, the president of bikers in Nigeria. Yeah, Mr. Nengi Hansen. Bikers Friday. So, um, guys, Bikers. let's get back. Let's get back to it. Um, if you're just if you're just joining the podcast, if you just started watching, we are talking about why men cheat and why women cheat. Why two of them cheat? And Nengi has confused me. <laughs> yes. Because I'm still asking the question. Have I been cheating? Every confused person is a cheater. That's my style. What is this one? What is this one saying? He is saying that if you can, you know, have an agreement mm-hmm. with your partner and and you both agree. Wait, should wait, I should I should I give an example? Let me finish. Okay. okay. Should I give an example? Okay, so um I'll give an example. Mm-hmm. True life story. In my previous relationship before that's one that happened. Um, oh, okay. well I'm like let me know. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I like me. Yes, for the ex, that kind of thing. Okay. So um I was free to chat and flirt yeah. with people and who go out, out and then she's like not flirting. Wow. We're good. Wow. That kind of thing. Wow. We're good. We what boundaries what boundaries do you guys have? I'm gonna be flirting. Was there some kind of I'm sorry, I don't disagree anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't disagree anymore. Okay, that's not a new question. I like to ask one thing. I like to ask one question, yeah. What boundaries do you guys have? Do you guys have boundaries? The basic thing was just let me know. Yeah. 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 The basic thing was just let me know. But once we're out passing, okay, we're good. Go have fun. But chill, that kind of thing. I just flirted for God's sake. I like to ask another one, yeah. Yes. I like to ask another one. If she wants to get down. No, she won't she won't, she won't, she won't get down. But okay, that's, so so get down for the boundary. For that one, getting down for the boundary. For that one. For that one? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I'm I've been had, I've had, I've had, wait, 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 um, getting down, so anybody can get down and do what they want. Yes. I see tell. I see tell. Yes, yeah, just know. let me know. That's What's he committed? You, we, 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 we love. You know what's going to that? No, wait, 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 wait. I, I, have, have, I think we're asking the wrong question. I love this kind of. Oh, oh shit. wow. wow. Okay. All right. Sorry, guys. We had a Nigerian problem. Yeah. You see, you see what is we are shooting in Nigeria. Yeah, we are shooting in Nigeria. They took lights. Life goes. Life goes. We have to. No. Wow. Hi right, guys, you're welcome back to the Wild well, Speed Podcast in Port Harcourt City right now. And, you know, we are talking about why men and women cheat. Why men and they cheat. And Nengi has successfully confused me <laughs> by telling me that I can be in a committed relationship and still be open. And do it. Right? Do I can still, I can love you and still love this person. I love when I don't use the word love. And I said that that's Now, okay, now I want to ask you. I want to ask. These people way you did this, this thing. Did you love any of them? Or you've been just the catch cruise with this Remember people? I said, I was giving an instant, mm-hmm. flirting and no flirting. Mm-hmm. Okay? Now, there will be one person, you can choose to play uh-huh. around. Uh-huh. Meaning, you're in a house, you have a playground outside. Okay. So you want to go on a playground, you go. The playground. Mm-hmm. Finish it comes back home. So the relationship is not playground. No. Not the easiest way to define. But there's an agreement with your partner, right? Yes. 
like I was saying, like I was saying earlier, okay, um, so I had this one where we could flirt, okay? Go out, have fun. Once you step into the club, mm, do your thing. Uh, chill. Yeah, we're going back home, but we know at the end of the day, we're going back home together. That's okay, so Noli went on my go club one and the flex. She should not be just go flex on her own. No, she can. She yeah. can. What is one go but, down? But so it's like she can do whatever and you can do whatever, but you, when you come back together, you inform each other. Yes. Right? And then there are also some boundaries. There are also some boundaries. Now, after that relationship, I'm going to another one yeah. where just saying, for, for instance, mm -hmm. saying, um, hi there or hi darling <laughs> was hard. Wow. Okay. Why? Because according to <laughs> her own terms, you cannot be calling people, calling other ladies, that is. such things. That means you didn't have, there was no um, agreement then. You didn't have, you didn't decide on whether you wanted to. No, I didn't decide. Because, I didn't, I didn't because decide. this person sounds yeah. like a girl that mm -hmm. wants, that thinks she's in a committed relationship with you. Mm -hmm. So you know what, you know what was a committed relationship? Well, no, no, no. That was, um, which one? The other one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before this one. Um, <laughs> he probably did it. He massages me. You look like you did. Excuse me. No, no, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Basically, we got to a point where we felt we could not continue based on um, external issues. Okay, so they fled to one and then they fled on the <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 it was not no, 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 on the side of business, but what was was so was he flirting? I will just going off topic. I will just no, 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 no. I will just say business. But you understand the difference now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's more of what's this person's mindset about this, understanding that person, okay. and then sticking within those boundaries. Okay. Right. Kayla, I'd like to ask you a question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is directed to you. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. um, you. You said the girl in question, right? Is I'm asking, asking question. I'm probably reacting like she is in a committed relationship. No, we've had cases where a guy and a girl, mm -hmm. they, they have this agreement that okay, let's just buy it, mm -hmm. like right, let's just have fun, let's let's cheat in fun, because we're talking about cheating. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens when the girl in turn start acting like there was no agreement? Mm -hmm. um, um, we said there's no feelings, nothing attached, nothing, nothing, and the guy start acting the other way around. What is the whole deal with them, with women? So before you start this kind of relationship, you need to, you need to define it. You need mm -hmm. to have rules, you need to have boundaries too. And you also need some um, precautions for, should in case any party mm -hmm. decides or starts to catch feelings or decides to change their mind. So you mm -hmm. go back to those rules and your boundaries and reevaluate them. But should I get a woman agree? So, so here's the thing, down here, most of, most of the women, like the upbringing is to, to be prepared for one man, mm. you know, so you're going for him to be loyal, mm. to just be for him. But right? is that what is happening right now in this current? No, 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 these days, like people are, it's 2022, people are very, 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 you know, forward with their thinking, so you can choose to be in open relationships like him. Oh, <laughs> so you can be in the committed type like me. Oh, and, and here's the thing. Right. So here's the thing, yeah. Shut somebody, fire. somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so just because I'm I'm in a committed relationship, it doesn't mean that I'm not capable of having an open relationship. It just depends on who and if you define the relationship. It's not like yeah. Kayla, she's a committed relationship person, so like for the rest of your life. There are certain stages you get to in your life mm -hmm. where you feel like, you know. Are you at that stage where you feel like being committed and being open? Committed to who? Okay. Committed to. 
Okay, okay are you saying you're not committed to anybody right now? <laughs> Ring the bell. <laughs> <laughs> If you have not subscribed yet, click the subscribe button. Okay, I'd like to ask one more question here. Wow. This, this is for everybody, wow. right? Um, in an open relationship, what do we call cheating in an open relationship? In a relationship where it is said that you can do as you want, you can do what you want. And at the same time, we're committed, right? But it's open. So, what do we call cheating in an open relationship? What are the boundaries in an open relationship? I think, I don't think, I, I, I think no, no, they are ba- they are ba- you can have boundaries. Yeah. For example, say you, my partner is allowed to cheat, right? Um, no, I won't say cheat now because it's an open relationship. Okay. He's allowed to flirt, have yeah, sex, have and, and all of that. First of all, there are some people that they would like to know okay. who that person is. In case just they to don't like know. That person. Just to know, mm-hmm. not it's not it's not really about you because if if the guy is going to do it, then mm-hmm. I'm not the one that's supposed to like. He needs to like who's doing it. Yeah. But then when you don't tell, okay, that can be considered as mm-hmm. you know a bad thing yeah. in that relationship. So it's like when you already draw your boundaries and your rules, mm-hmm. and then one person decides to start going over all those things, yeah. that's when it's wrong. That's mm-hmm. when you consider cheating. If I say you're allowed to have sex but use a condom and you don't use a condom, we're going to have a real serious problem. Okay. Do okay. you understand? That's for an open relationship. Yeah, for an open relationship. If I say it's one woman at a time and you decide to pack three girls at a time, we're going to have a real serious issue. Okay. I like to. I like to hear from that. Because I'm not sure if anything like this. I like to hear from that. I'm not sure. He doesn't like this life. Why are we going to take it? He just wants to. In an open relationship. He just likes to play ground. I don't understand. How many good in a relationship is going to tell me how I want to open my relationship? Playing ground in Australia was just to define something. Okay. <laughs> but basically, like I said from the start, there has to be an agreement. Okay. okay? It has to be an agreement. I, I need to know what you're comfortable with. Yeah. And then what I am comfortable with mm-hmm. and then we'll come to meet the ground. Mm-hmm. Okay, so like she said, anything outside that scope. Yes. It's wrong. It's wrong. Which is very funny. What wait first? Mm-hmm. And then does it tell me why I like it? Because me and you know they date. I don't need Mac for that again. Now because of say that again get me nash or wait. Why exactly? Go one day inside one relationship, and then that person get friends with the from you. Well, like I said, people do it because they want to. So, so people just basically cheat because okay, they so want to I, cheat. I think, I think, I think. Don't so you think they cheat because of? There are, there, there are things called um, catalysts, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Things that will push you to that point. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So for instance, like she talked about women being emotional about mm-hmm. certain things. Okay. Yeah. So if a lady is used to getting a certain amount of love or affection or attention mm-hmm. from her guy mm-hmm. over a period of time and in the next six, eight months mm-hmm. she doesn't get that same thing, mm-hmm. okay? And the guy just starts over and doing the opposite of whatever mm-hmm. she's used to. And then you have this other person out there mm-hmm. showing the same kind of love and affection mm-hmm. and care. She is prone, okay, mm-hmm. to draw closer to that person. Okay. Okay? So they are you ready set up the circumstance and all that. Now the next thing is getting down. Mm-hmm. Okay? It's now hard decision to say at this point I want to do this. Okay. But now yeah, I feel we are we are not hitting it hard because in in this our country, yes, yeah, you know, flirting is not to some people gone, flirting is like uh, it's a normal thing. Flirting is a normal thing. I think cheating, so when they say cheating, yeah, hold on, yeah. I feel the cheating, cheating. <laughs> now, when you don't <laughs> knock another person, mm. you that's understand? Like, people consider. Do you understand? That's what people really consider. So, why do people, yeah, leave their relationship mm. and go and be knocking outside? You see that the person you're knocking mm. is not knocking you well. Mm. If the person you're knocking is not mm. knocking you well, mm. why mm. you don't just go there with that person and knock you well? Maybe so, that's a, so aside the general thing about you cheat because you want to cheat, yeah. there's people without self-control. They don't just control. Self-discipline. 
right? And now I'm talking of in whether you are in a committed or an open relationship. Because because yeah. in open relationship you can give hands and allow certain things, and still somebody will want to push to the wall. Okay. Do you understand? Self control is a big issue okay. that I feel like mostly guys don't come for me, but mostly guys do not have down here. Don't have self control. There's no discipline. I know? think it's a lie. No. No, lie? there's no discipline. Because I'm not saying guys don't have self control. Mm. I'm saying in this relationship context, mm -hmm. do you understand? It's not that they are not capable of self control mm -hmm. because these. As your guy now, yeah. There are other parts of your life that are functioning very well that you you exercise control and discipline. But why is it that there are some people they have all of that figured out, but in the relationship part they suddenly are loose? Another reason is because like in society is largely accepted to for guys is mostly like it's acceptable. Like you cheat, you oh, steal, nice. you're a strong woman. Oh, wow. It's accept <laughs> no, no, no. See, it is no, not it acceptable. Is, it is, it is it not is acceptable. Is cultural. Yes. They are permitted. They are permitted to. You, you they see. Can, yeah. You see situations where like a guy, a man has cheated on his wife or something, and the family is just like, well, you know, they are coming to settle instead of saying, take your bags and leave. It I is agree, not acceptable. I agree, I agree with this, but this is my problem with this. Now, yeah? mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to draw you guys to this. I'm serious. The Bridgerton series. Mm -hmm. like if you have seen it, you see that the men, what we said here, yeah. is what it is for the men. The men can actually do anything. Yeah. But when a woman go out of line, it becomes a big problem. But this is this is why it's a problem to me. Okay. Now, we agree with the whole historical thing, the mm -hmm. traditional culture and all. But don't you think that currently in the generation we're in right now, women are taking that as um, their number one. Um, um, how do I say their number one um, um, go to excuse to cheat? No, 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 I don't think that's an excuse. I wouldn't use that because, because, because women say I, I'm a feminist, I'm a woman of my own, this I could do anything I want, and they just go around and they have fun and they do anything they want to well, do. Cheating doesn't, have, cheating doesn't have anything to do with being, you know, feminist. If a lady cheats and you hear something like, oh, it's allowed, it's because it's true, it's allowed. Because if we, if we treat this cheating or having sexual intercourse outside your relationship as the way we treat the way we do it with women if we do it like that with guys we would really start to fix the problem but the the punishment is different the two of us can do literally almost the same thing in as various um committed relationships and i would be punished everybody society my person like i a guy a guy is cheated on me and i stayed but I know very well that if I had done the same thing, it wouldn't even be a matter of staying. Do you understand? That's why that's why we really like speak about it. Like that's why it's like it's really it's a thing that's out there. So maybe people can use it as an excuse. But that's the thing some women don't want to do it because because they feel like okay, yo, I'm, I'm equal. Well uh, girls, just, it's time to reclaim our time. You see if, what I'm saying? If you want. They've been doing it for ages. No,